Hello, I'm Iowa Secretary of State Paul Pate. Thank you for taking a few moments to view this video and to learn more about the voting process in Iowa. As the state's commissioner of elections, I encourage everyone to register to vote and to participate. Make your voice heard and be a voter. Our founding fathers fought to give us the freedom to choose our representative form of government. And hundreds of thousands of fellow Americans bravely fought to preserve that freedom. We should honor them by voting. For those of you who might need extra help with your absentee ballot or at the polls on election day, you'll find this video very useful. It explains how to use the voter assistance terminal to mark your ballot, whether you're using it to vote an absentee ballot at the county auditor's office or if you are voting at the polls on election day. After signing in as a voter, tell the precinct election official how you would like to vote. You may choose to vote on a regular paper ballot. You may choose to vote on the voter assist terminal that is located in every polling place. You may choose to ask someone to assist you in marking your ballot. You will be asked to sign an affidavit indicating that you requested assistance. You may bring someone along with you. You may ask precinct election officials to assist you. Two precinct officials, one from each of the political parties, are designated to assist voters and have taken an oath to keep your choices confidential. You may not have your employer, employer's agent, or an officer or agent from your union to assist you in marking your ballot. Ask the precinct election officials for assistance if you need help using the OVI. You may change the text size by using the zoom in and zoom out buttons. The brightness of the screen can be changed by pressing the settings button. You may also use headphones to hear the ballot read aloud. The OVI allows you to control the volume and speed at which the ballot is read by using the minus and plus volume and tempo buttons on the keypad. Press the Start button on the screen or the green square Enter button on the keypad to begin the voting process. Mark your ballot. Touch the box next to your choice on the touch screen. You may also use the navigation arrow buttons and the central square button to mark your choice. Each office title lists the number of candidates for which you may vote. The OVI will not allow you to mark more choices than you may vote for. You may choose to vote for fewer candidates or you may skip any race. To change a vote, touch the box next to your choice again. This will cancel your choice and then you may mark another choice. Use the left and right arrow keys on screen or the pink left arrow button and the yellow right arrow button on the keypad to cycle between pages of the ballot. Press done when you have marked your choices. After pressing the done button, you will be provided with summary instructions for the ballot summary screen. Press continue to move to the ballot summary. Review your choices. You may have to advance the screen to see all of your voting choices. Press print when you finish reviewing your choices. Place your ballot in the secrecy folder if provided and then take your ballot to the tabulator and insert it to be counted. Thank you for voting. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, contact my office at 888-SOS-VOTE or email us at sos at sos.iowa.gov. We're here to help. Also, we now have online voter registration available in Iowa 24 hours a day. If you need to register to vote or to update your information, you can do that by going to sos.iowa.gov. Iowa is one of the most accessible states in the nation for voting and registering to vote. Please exercise that right. Don't forget, election day is rapidly approaching. Make your voice heard and be a voter.